So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through step-by-step -step the Beautify retouching panel when it comes to the makeup section of the panel. All right, so here we are, Adobe Photoshop. This is the image that we have on screen. When I say the makeup section of the, the retouching panel, so uh, in Beautify, if you have Beautify, retouching makeup panel, this is what I'm gonna be showing you guys. Uh, how to cover. So I wanna just show you guys in the layers panel, uh, the before and after of what we can actually do using the makeup panel. Uh, I do wanna say as a caveat, this will be a two part video. This video specifically right here is just gonna show you more of the theory. Uh, the second video I'm gonna record directly after this video and it will be published at the same time, uh, will be more of the application. So uh, right here, this video is just gonna be more theory on where to actually put some of these items. Uh, you know, where to put eyeliner, where to put eyeshadow, where to put um, mascara, things of that nature because I, I don't feel like every photographer knows that. Um, this is kind of a our response to uh, Beautify, uh, Nello actually recorded a tutorial on, on his um, use of the makeup panel and I just wanna pick up, pick up where he kinda left off in that tutorial. Um, just kinda show you how we kind of use the makeup panel a little bit differently, things of that nature, but uh, give you our insight on that as well. So again, this is gonna be more of a theories video. The following video on the application will come right after this one. So this is what is possible. Um, this is the original image. I basically just kind of photoshopped out the color out of her um, her eyeshadow, and uh, I was able to change the color just using Beautify. Okay, so that's what we can do: change lipstick, add um, mascara, things of that nature. So in the Beautify panel, let me walk you guys through how what what these actually do. So in the makeup panel, we have makeup brushes. Um, essentially, what what this is going to change if you go to B to your brush panel. Make sure you turn this on. Uh, you go to B and your brush panel. I mean, actually, I actually have to click on a random layer. Uh, you will see as you click around in this, it changes the uh, the edges of the brush. The reason why these are here is because when you're using certain makeup brushes, they have a very specific edge as far as their shape. When you're tapping on someone's face, uh, every time you do a tap like that, the the edges of the brush are actually changing. Uh, so the function of this of this these makeup brushes is to replicate more naturally the makeup brushes that you'd find in real life. They're just rendered from those. Uh, there's a total of a hundred of these. Uh, you're welcome to use this if you want. If you want to, if you want to have more, um, I guess, variation in your strokes and have it not be just a round circle that you would normally find over here in the brush panel, like this one, for example. Right? It's just making it a lot more. Um, it's just changing the shape, so it's not as as is boring and circular. That's the whole function of those. You're welcome to use that if you if you wouldn't want to. You don't necessarily have to, but you're welcome to use that if you'd like to. I personally use it, and um, I've been using brush number, I think it was like brush, uh, basically like three. Yeah, brush number two, three, um, for various functions. So basically that that's what that is, right? So the next thing is gonna be the eyelashes right here. How you guys are gonna wanna apply the eyelash. Um, the eyelash basically works to this is not the right thing. Uh, the eyelash basically works to add uh, mascara, and, and mascara is something that adds basically product, black product to someone's eyelashes to uh, make them, uh, give them more volume, give them more, uh, more life, make them a, a little bit more bold and have a little more contrast. So when you're applying the eyelash, um, this selector, this action, uh, essentially you use a black brush and you're going to go over, I'm going to make the brush smaller, black brush, uh, drop the flow down from 100% to say 10, 15, 20%. I'm using my mouse here, and you're going to brush in the same direction um, as the eyelashes. In fact, let me actually turn that off, and I will make a new group here. So let me just turn on this, eyelashes, load that up, and then you're gonna brush in the same direction as the lashes themselves. Make sure it's set to brush and it's just gonna add contrast and you brush in the same direction as lash, as eyebrows and the eyelashes. So basically what you're doing is you're, you're selectively painting and you're adding contrast to the eyelashes and eyebrows. So you guys can see the difference before and after. Um, make it roughly the same size as the eyebrows and eyelashes in terms of here. You don't want it to be a gigantic brush like this because if you brush over, it's gonna start affecting other areas. Um, but that's basically how you apply that effect, right? So. Uh, the next thing is eyeshadow. How do you apply eyeshadow? Eyeshadow is going to be applied, and I'm going to choose a different color here. I'll even open up another layer. Um, so I'll show you guys where, where eyeshadow is going to be applied. I'm just going to use a normal brush 
here and I will draw in with the mouse where you guys are gonna apply eyeshadow and making sure that you apply it the right areas. So eyeshadow is applied here. Uh, let me turn the flow back up. And this is not on. Oh, this is a group. Oh, let me just get this. Okay, so you apply eyeshadow here, these areas here, not including the eyelashes, and you apply eyeshadow underneath the eyelid and here. These are the areas that you apply eye, eyeshadow. Now, I will show you what that actually looks like in practice really quick. Eyeshadow is just this. So it's that, and then we go down to this layer. This is eyeshadow. Okay, so that's where you apply eyeshadow. Um, you apply it in those areas. So essentially what you're gonna do with the eyeshadow, uh, this action, you're going to choose a certain color that you want, and then using the brush tool, you're going to paint in that color, and uh, ideally set the flow down to 10, 15%, and gradually uh, paint over, and then select other colors if you would like to then add gradations and then same principles before, uh, basically paint, yes? So that's how you apply eyeshadow. Um, okay, moving on. The next thing is eyeliner. Now this is not gonna be particularly uh, applicable to every single image that you guys are shooting. This is very specific if the model or your makeup artist already applies eyeliner to the shot. Uh, if eyeliner is not there, it doesn't make any sense to apply eyeliner otherwise. Uh, the functionality of the eyeliner, um, the eyeliner action here in, in Beautify is to essentially correct and to add more eyeliner to fix uneven maybe lines, uh, especially if someone's doing a wing tip. Um, it, it, that's kind of the functionality. So if it's not there, yes, you can apply it, but it's it's something that is supposed to like basically fill in the gaps and, and to bolt, bolster it up and then to also make the lines more even and straight. Um, otherwise, you should not be applying this eyeliner. Uh, I would say instead apply the mascara and then I would say also, um, yeah, just do the, the mascara and the eyelashes actions here instead and, and don't worry about the eyeliner. But essentially what you're gonna do with the eyeliner we're gonna set this back to default over here. So we have a black brush. And then essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint on the top of the eyelids. Um, again, flow is gonna be at 10 to 15% for all of the tools in here. Uh, Cause you want it to be very gradual strokes, just like a makeup artist would do in real life. They don't use 100% massive product on the eyes and just beat someone's eyes down. They use very gentle amount of product and they, they just kind of dab little by little. Um, so we're trying to replicate that as photographers, as retouchers, by doing that with a lower flow. So you're gonna basically just paint over uh, this area and um, you're gonna kind of decrease your brush size as needed and you're going to basically paint in, uh, you could paint in a wing tip, which this is what I'm doing right now is basically making a wing tip. Um, and then eyeliner goes directly over the eyes um, on the eyelids right here and it usually goes down in right here as well to kind of add a little bit of contour. So that is what the eyeliner is doing. I wouldn't suggest using eyeliner unless eyeliner is already on your model specifically. Otherwise do not, I wouldn't say, I just honestly would say just avoid using this altogether unless it's already there and you wanna add more to add more contrast. Otherwise, don't worry about this. I guess I can skip over that one. Uh, next, moving on, I don't know what FARD does. I'm gonna s totally skip over FARD. I don't really understand FARD. I will do more research and do a follow-up video on FARD uh, once I figure out how to actually use that. Mascara, um, this one is interesting. Uh, basically does a, uh, a curves layer to then add more contrast to the eyes. You can play around with this if you want. I kind of just leave it as default personally. Um, but essentially what it's doing, it's selecting just the eyelashes and the eyebrows based on the contrast. And then once you click out, all you do is paint in black, uh, the areas that you want contrast, and then you're gonna add mascara. So mascara is kind of the same thing when it comes to the eyelashes uh, to add volume. Uh, essentially mascara is functioning in the same way. It's, it's a way for, for women to add volume to their eyelashes. So you're gonna be ba basically using uh, this normal paintbrush here to paint in the eyebrows the same way that you would do the eyeshadow. Uh, in that you're going to paint in the same direction as the uh, eye, the eyebrows. Uh, you could add the same thing if you want to eyebrow, I mean the eyebrows themselves as well. And you can see the before and after the difference there. So uh, that's how you apply that one. Uh, moving on, lipsticks, pretty straightforward. 
Uh, there's two different sections of the lipstick. I'll cover this really quick here. Uh, first and foremost is color. So we're gonna go down white brush. Uh, same thing, 10% flow. Uh, you're going to basically paint and white over the lips. Um, you're not, you're not gonna see it doing anything right now because it's not set to change the color. You're gonna double tap right here and then you can change a color this way and saturation this way. So we'll say we'll do like an orange, come out of that, we'll go back into our layers and we'll continue painting, filling in the areas that we haven't hit already. Uh, you guys will hear an ambulance in the background here. So you guys can listen to that good old ambulance. Um, you'll just kind of paint. And then you'll basically use the X key to go into white and uh, just kind of clean up some of the areas. I'm using a mouse right now. I just want to show you guys how to do this real quick. I'm not really trying to uh, really impress you guys with my, <laughs> my masking skills and all that stuff. So this bottom section down here is uh, basically like highlights and contouring. Um, you're welcome to use this if you would like. This is just going to basically add, like I said, it's going to add contrast and it's basically going to change the highlights and the shadows. Um, and it's, it's functioning to either increase or decrease the color uh, of the lips and the, I guess the luminosity, the brightness of the lips. Um, reflexes is like kind of a highlights. Uh, lower lip and upper lip are going to reduce the brightness of that area for that specific section. So it would decrease the lip color down here if you apply that. Um, and then lower lip edge is functioning to add a little more contrast to the bottom edge like that. Uh, now, obviously, that was a really, really bad example, but I'm, again, I'm just, this is the theory of operations. I'm just showing you guys how to, uh, where to apply these things. Um, and for the most part, I will do, I'm gonna do separate videos on teeth whitening and nail varnish, uh, actually to follow this one, but I, I will leave it as that. Those are the main sections of the makeup, uh, the makeup panel here in Beautify that you guys need to worry about when it comes to retouching and adding makeup and altering makeup for your model's eyes and uh, their face, really, because it also includes the lips and eye, eye, eyebrows. So uh, I hope that was beneficial. I hope that helped answer some questions on where you apply this stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, even in this little section right here, there's probably 100 different adjustments you can make. So uh, I, you know, I want to just add a little bit of value by kind of showing you guys some of those things real quick. Um, so, hey, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, if you haven't already, we'd definitely love to have you as a part of the team, my friend. Come join us. Uh, Devon Lennox here. Please leave a like and a comment down in the description below. Let us know if this video was added some value, you guys. Let us know kind of your questions and your thoughts on, on using Beautify. Uh, do you guys use the makeup panel? Do you guys even like the makeup panel? Uh, is this going above and beyond? I'm not sure, but uh, let us know in the comments down below. I, I'm always responding to comments. This is Devon Lennox, Photography PX. We will catch you in the next video, my friends. Until then, peace out.